Hello everyone, my name is Jamilka Muñiz and I am a very passionate goal leader with Young Living. I am a follower of God and His Word, a wife to my husband, Aldin Andres, and homeschooling mother of two girls, Maria Isabel, who is 11 years old, and Elena Sofia, who is seven years old. I currently live in Utah, but I am a native of Moca, Puerto Rico. And all of that has brought me here today to talk to you about the importance and how-tos of achieving your key rank, the executive rank. In my time with this wonderful company, in my experience of running my Young Living business, I have learned that our job and our privilege as leaders is to grow our business by educating and helping people. What am I going to share with you is part of training I, together with Cross Team Silver Leader Angelita Fanas, have created called Motivate or motivate yourself in English. This year, we joined up with our friend, executive leader, David Sa Estrada, to offer Motivate 2022. I love the fact that we can do cross-team trainings in Young Living. After all, we are all working towards the same goal, sharing Young Living with the world. The purpose of Motivate training is to help teams grow and achieve their ranks. If you'd like to be part of Motivate, follow me on Facebook or Instagram as Oleo Jamilka. In my experience, there have been four main elements to effective leadership and ranking up. Prayer, relationships, responsibility, and repetition. Praying for your business, organization, the people you meet, and the new people that God will put into your life, for me, is a huge part of my business growth. Young Living is all about relationships. You must strive to create and grow relationships, not only with your customers, but also with your brand partners. Any good leader must take responsibility. In 1945, President Harry Truman placed a sign on his desk that said, the buck stops here. And he referred to that principle many times during his presidency. A true leader takes responsibility, no matter what industry you're in. And repetition. As leaders, we have the honor of helping people achieve their dreams. That means modeling and training effective actions they can repeat and repeat and repeat all the way to the top. Prayer, relationships, responsibility, repetition. That's a leader's to-do list. Let's get into it. Prayer is to me one of the first and most important parts of my Young Living business. Putting God first in all the things we do and trusting that His timing and will is always best, it will be a key factor to your success by making God the CEO of your Young Living business. When you put Him first in your life and make God the foundation of your journey, it's the safest place you can be. Seek after God in prayer today and every day. You know what happens when you do? The book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Relationships. We all know that Young Living is built on relationships. Relationships with our customers and relationships with our brand partners. And as I mentioned with Motivate 22 training, relationships with other leaders in Young Living. It is only through creating and nurturing those strong connections that you can bond with people and work with them to bring out their best. Young Living has a warm and welcoming community that is quite different from anywhere else. Those of you who have worked in corporate or jobs, wouldn't you agree? We've all had co-workers we enjoy working with, but really the depth of those relationships isn't even close to those we have the ability to form in Young Living. Why is that? Because our relationships are formed on a foundation of helping people achieve wellness, purpose, and abundance. I want you to know, you are in the best place, in the best company, and the best community. What a blessing. All relationships take work and commitment, a marriage, a friendship, or whatever that relationship is. Growing and nurturing relationships with customers and brand partners is very similar to those you have with those other people in your life. You must be intentional and committed to investing time with others and getting to know them. That is the only way you can know the best way to communicate, 
encourage, and serve them as a leader. You will soon discover those, are who, those who are hungry to learn and grow. And as you're identifying them, it is important that you identify and focus on the key rank within your business that you want to mentor them to achieve. What is that key rank? Executive. We need to focus on a key measure for the health, strength, and sustainability of our organization. That's why it's important to get to that executive rank. How do you measure the health of your organization and establish a solid foundation of growth for your brand partners? Many of us are recruiting a lot of people as customers and only a few as brand partners. But consider this. Does the number of new customers or the amount of sales they generate show you the health of the organization? Not necessarily, because our OGB could be going up like crazy while our organization is still not healthy. We might have a lot of brand partners, but do those people know what they're doing? We could have a lot of customers, but if they're not being educated properly or they're not part of loyalty rewards, you can have a lot of people who aren't seeing the value in everything Young Living offers them. Your relationships with both customers and brand partners are so important at this point. When you are in a strong relationship, you can share even more about Young Living, what they have to offer, wellness, purpose, and abundance. A good leader takes responsibility, period. You are the leader. It is your job to lead, not avoid the hard decisions or difficult conversations. Just as it is my job to lead and nurture my daughters as they grow, it is my job to lead and nurture and motivate my team to reach their full potential. Sometimes you may want to escape those difficult aspects, and trust me, I have had those moments too. But as a leader, you can't do that. You must make the decision to own your business, own every part of your business, the good, the bad, and the ugly. What does that mean? Take responsibility for what you do every day instead of just putting it off to your team, the company, your upline, and everyone else. Grow yourself and grow your business. You must always keep growing yourself and your business as your number one priority. These actions need to be part of your daily activities. Make sure you are looking at your organization and your virtual office every day. It is your most important and most necessary tool to successfully build your young living business. There, you can order products, manage your monthly subscription, edit your member profile information, access sharing and learning tools, monitor your team progress and downline, downline viewer access the latest Young Living news and updates, and the list goes on and on. Whether you are a technology savvy person or not, learning to navigate your virtual office is key, and Young Living has made it simple and user-friendly. In fact, the company came out with a series of short videos teaching you exactly what each feature is for and how to use it. Trust me, once you learn your way around your virtual office, it will make your business journey so much easier and much more fun. Another crucial part of growing your business is supporting and encouraging your newest customers. Start as soon as they receive their kit. That is when they're usually most excited. Remember that excitement when you joined? Build on that with your people. This is the time. They're excited to have their kit and use the products. Don't wait a month or two to show them the things they can do with the products they just purchased. The successes and failures of the business fall on us as leaders because it is our business and our responsibility. Be creative. Find a way to be creative in your business. Whatever obstacle comes up, just turn it around, go over it, go under it, do whatever you have to do to get to the other side. There's always a way. You just have to figure it out. You don't have to know everything. You just have to know how to find the information in the virtual office, Google, Facebook groups, call Young Living, etc., and take action. Be a problem solver. Many people react to situations instead of taking initiative. They complain about a problem and react. 
Leaders are problem solvers. When something comes up, instead of complaining, find the solution, make it better, and move on. If there is a problem that a brand partner cannot solve on their own, help them and tell your upline so they are informed and know you're on it. Don't wait for your leader to hear from the brand partner first if you already know about it. If you can't solve it, bring it to your upline leader, but be prepared with a solution when you have that conversation. In short, we need to stop talking about problems and glorifying them. We need to become more solution-oriented. Don't focus on the problem. Focus on the solution to solve it. Focusing on the problem will not move us forward. Focusing on the solution will. Be okay with making mistakes. Many of you out there do absolutely everything correct every time. No? Me neither. You must be okay with falling short and making mistakes because that is a fact of life and business. Many of us want to be perfect and wait until everything is perfect to even dare to the things we know we're not particularly good at. So we avoid it at all costs, but guess what happens? You and your business will remain in the same place because you're not doing anything. You have to be willing to do things not so well, but do it anyway. We're not good at everything right away, so we have to learn how to do something. Then with repetition and time, we get better. Every step of your young living journey leads to the next step, the next level of accomplishment. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. That means when you overcome your fears or get past that goal, you will want more. Celebrate and go for the next rank or the next goal. Always be hungry and go for one more challenge. Watch your business grow and ask yourself, am I comfortable or uncomfortable with the things I am doing right now? And if you are comfortable, you're not doing enough. You should always have butterflies in your tummy. Everything that is going on is creating your story and we will help you grow. No one gets from zero to 100 overnight, nor do you get there without struggles. There are many faces in your journey to the top and you can tell your team those stories and show them that you can relate because you were there at one point too. Again, that is part of building relationships. Sharing your successes and struggles gives your team permission to also strive for more, even if they don't always get it right the first time. Always be building your team. When you launch a business, it's really because you want to make it happen. And to launch a business and make it happen, you need to talk to everyone you know, add more people. So if you don't really start your business, Example, you do it half-heartedly, everyone you sign up will also do it half-heartedly. Just like a child watches a parent and learns from them, your team watches you as their leader and they duplicate what you are doing. Our teams are not going to do what we tell them to do, they're going to do what we do. If we want them to do something, we must be front and center leading them and taking action as well. Model the behaviors you want your team to take. Next, daily mode of operations, also known as income producing activities. A successful team does this nonstop and without question. This is like in your job or in school where there's so many things you must do every day, regardless of what the day and what is happening. These daily actions grow your business. They can move you along in your business growth as you work with your brand partners to grow into executives. What are these actions? Here are a few things I suggest you do every day. Add people to your social media community. Tag people on your social networks with content about young living and your business. Add people to your team. Follow up with people every day. Find out if they need more information and ask them if they are ready to be a customer or a brand partner. We need to give them the resources right away and connect to Facebook groups and classes so they can start learning.
help them navigate the website and access all the information and business resources in the virtual office. Block time in your calendar. Blocking time in your calendar for daily income producing activities is crucial. We are all busy. You may have kids like I do, or a job, or other responsibilities. We all have to figure it out how to manage our lives to fit it all in. That's why blocking time to work your business every day is so important. It can easily take a back seat to all your priorities. Don't let it. Block out some time every day to work on your business. It could be 15, 30, 45, 60 minutes to focus and do your daily income generating activities. One important thing I do want to mention, being busy does not mean being productive. So during that block of time, you have to be productive, not just busy. Scrolling Facebook isn't productive. Connecting with people on Facebook is. Be sure you're focusing on productivity, not just busyness. So during that block of time you have reserved for your business, you should focus on talking to someone about the business or the team, send someone a link, watch or give a presentation. I say watching because it is just as important to build your own strength and continue to learn as it is to share information with your brand partners. Send samples to customers and prospects. Connecting people with tools and resources is one of our top priorities to grow and sustain our business. Next, promote everything. Our business is all about promoting events, but in reality, we need to promote everything, such as our classes each week, young living events, promotions, in-stock items, sales, incentives, everything. When you promote an event or training, you become a co-host. This forces you to be accountable and helps you stay present. When you are promoting in-person events, tell your guests, hey, I'm the co-host and it would mean so much if you could be there as my special guest. Make them feel like you're rolling out the red carpet for them and giving them the VIP experience. We all know the saying, people may not remember what you say, but they'll remember how you made them feel. Make them feel like the most important people anywhere and they will feel that. Show your team that it's possible with Young Living and how they can achieve it. When you focus on helping your team members get to executive, there are so many resources at your disposal. There are leader created resources. Those are the ones you create just for your team. And then there are corporate provided resources. My market is the US Latino market. So the resources I use are a mixture. I create my own tools, draw on what others are doing, and of course, use the wonderful resources Young Living provides for us in the virtual office. One very strong tool for us is incentives and bonuses. I know many of you have been working the Rise to Rank incentive, which will end at the end of this month. In that incentive, you can win prizes by working hard to build your team and sell our products and ranking up to executive for the first time or re-ranking to executive. When you do that, the ranking executive will receive an awesome prize package. How awesome! Young Living is just so committed to supporting leaders and their growth. This incentive is a great example of that. Check out our virtual office for the official details on this incentive. The Silver Bound Bonus Program is another great tool for brand partners working on their way to executive. Silver Bound gives ranking brand partners the opportunity to get rewarded to share what they love with people they love. As brand partners work hard to build their teams and reach specified ranks within a defined time frame and structure, and then maintain that rank for three months, they can receive a generous bonus. The bonus is paid out over three months, so every month they get that bonus check. It can also amp up their excitement. Selling and sharing our favorite Young Living products with others can help our organization to grow and help us to establish our rank.
If we get the products, use them, and share them with others, our business can grow. For additional information on this program, make sure you head over to your virtual office. Develop an executive culture. You want your team to have the executive mindset. So once you set the goal of mentoring your team to reach executive, one, start by getting there yourself. Develop an action plan with a leader on your team to get them there. Document what they're doing so they can tell their own team members how they did it and help them get there too. If you document the process, you can inspire others to do the same. For those of us who have already reached executive rank, I challenge you to work as if you have not gotten there yet. Do it all over again. Next, take an inventory of your team. Ask each of the people on your team who would like to reach executive in the upcoming month. How do you calculate in numbers the health of your organization? Go to your virtual office under your organization's reports. Look at how many first time rank qualifiers that you have each month. I mean, people who are new to the rank, not someone who hit the rank for the second time. Write it down in a document so you'll know who is who. Try your best to make sure that every month someone new moves up in rank. This has to be your passion and your monthly goal. Then look at the next month. What is that number? This number will reveal the health of your organization. Each month, that number should increase. So whatever the number of new ranks in the month you're looking at, you need to have one more. If you had one new brand partner the month before, then in the new month, you should have two new brand partners who reached a new rank. The next month should be three, and so on. If you want a long-lasting and healthy organization, this executive rank must be your main focus, your passion, your sunshine. It has to grow every month. If you see it trending down, Red lights should flash, sirens should bear loudly, everything should stop until you fix the problem. People will tell you, but the business is slow in summer, or business has been slower in December. It doesn't matter. The numbers must not go down. Create a campaign, offer incentives, or make it a challenge. Come up with a strategy to make sure your business grows every month. If the number of new ranks increases every month, if you continue to do this and your team is doing this, the health of your organization is taken care of. If you, as the CEO of your business, are not taking inventory and checking to make sure this growth is happening every month, your business will suffer. Do this every month. Take an inventory and get them excited and enthusiastic about doing it with you. Tell your brand partners this. I'm going to work with you personally to make this a reality. I'll help you map out a roadmap to make it happen. I will help you understand what you need to do to get to executive. Three. Recognize your rankers. This is so important. People crave for being recognized for their accomplishments. When your brand partners make it to executive, you must tell the world, send them a gift, ask them to tell their story. Their story will inspire others to do the same. Four, repeat the process every month. Teach and practice Repetition daily. Use the tools and resources available. Coach and mentor. And most of all, be the leader you want your leaders to become. I have learned and grow so much from my own leaders on my upline team leaving well now, as well as several cross team leaders. My crown diamond is Diane Mora. My diamond leader is Deborah Lehman. And upline leaders are Carissa Renner and Sheila Otter. I am one of the first to work with the Spanish-speaking market on our team, so I felt the need to connect with Spanish-speaking groups so I could grow as well. Our cultures do have differences. We behave, speak, express feelings, and communicate differently. 
And that is the beauty of Young Living, that we are all multicultural. For instance, Royal Crown Diamond Lula Schiller did the first Spanish-speaking meeting for the Living Well Now group to help position me as a Spanish-speaking resource for the community. Another Royal Crown Diamond, Susana Armstrong, has also taken me under her wing. What is most amazing is that all these ladies and their leadership teams have been there for me, even though I'm not part of their organizations. Where am I going with this? My Living Well Now leaders urged me to create my own community, and that is what I did. They didn't hold me back from growing. Instead, they opened the way so I could fly and create my Spanish-speaking group, which was much needed. They gave me the green light to also post in Spanish in their Living Well Now community and encouraged me to use the resources for my community as well. They have and continually model prayer, relationships, responsibility, and repetition. They are the type of leaders I want to be. Everything, and I do mean everything you do, is an example for your team on how a leader acts and builds a young living business. Make sure your actions support your goals and those of your leaders. One, create a strong structure. This is not just about sales volume or number of customers, but an organization with legs. Two, show your brand partners the income disclosure statement. They will quickly see the potential that exists for them when they rank up to executive. There's no denying the fact that money motivates people. A brand partner is much more likely to stay in business if they get a paycheck on a consistent basis. You're going to have a leader not only in love with the products and their lifestyle, but also excited about the business opportunity. Three, with repetition, both you and your brand partners can use this rank to get to the top. When you reach this rank of executive, think of it as a brick in a building. And when you help someone else get to that rank, that's more bricks. When you take someone to executive, you have someone you can work with more concretely. What you do is help people get to the rank, model those leadership actions for them, and you can rank up all the way to the top. Once you are at that executive rank, your number one job is to help everyone else on your team get to that rank too. That's where you start to see the health of your organization improve and improve. In closing, let's repeat the activities you should be focusing on as you build executive leaders on your team. Bring people in. Take inventory, who wants to come to executive? Work with those who want to work. Celebrate your successes. Use their testimonials to inspire the next group. And of course, repeat the process. If you do that and teach other people to do the same, you will always be getting to executive and inspiring your team members to do the same. Thank you so much for participating in this workshop. I hope it has been helpful to you as you build toward executive rank. Have a great conference and God bless you.